Good morning. This is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. Just making another video log of a home that we're settling on this morning. I'm going to closing here in a little while. I figured I'd make a quick video. I highlight the house. Um, I want to give a thanks to Kim Sarus over at Lake Norman Granite for picking out all the colors on the home. I think she did an excellent job. Anyway, I'll start uh, describing some of the features of the home. Exterior, the shutters. I'm not a fan of plastic shutters. I like the board and batten ones. These are actually a composite material, not actually wood, so they won't warp or rot, but I think that look really sets it off. Instead of going with a traditional white coloring, we went with a desert sand, kind of a beige with a soffit and fascia and the windows. Um, on our front porch, one of the features that I particularly like is on the porch ceiling, a wood ceiling. Uh, I say this on every video, but I just really think it's a whole lot nicer than a vinyl ceiling. Um, on this front door, we went with the wrought iron insert. The house, it just, it, the porch isn't really big enough for a huge front door. I think that would just be too much for this space. So, uh, went with the wrought iron insert. Inside, there's a dining room. So we went with a shadow box and chair rail. Wainscoting, accent from walls. In our great room, we have a stone fireplace. There's granite tops in the kitchen and the island. Uh, we've configured this kitchen a lot of different ways. Sometimes we go with a, a large stationary island. And we have our cabinets. This is our standard, this is what we include in all our houses. This is. There's no particle board in this cabinet. It's got dovetail joints. It's all plywood and, and wood, wood frames and ball bearing and slow closed drawers. Center, every kitchen, we put a tile backsplash in. Uh, sometimes we do designs in them. This house, the theme was more of the cleaner, simpler lines. Seems to be in. A uh, breakfast room. And we have French, por French, French doors out to the screen porch. Out back. And once again, we have our uh, knotty pine tongue and groove ceilings. Do, 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 do. Our rails, our stairs, our hardwood with rod iron balusters. Upstairs, we include standard of their houses, all 30 ounce frise carpets. Tile floor in our bath, always, always. And uh, I like putting granite in bathrooms, even upstairs. If we're gonna do, go with granite, we might as well go all the way. All right, now in our storage area. It's one of the things I like to do. I'm not crazy about those little tiny doors to climb in where you bump your head. And I know people generally always like some walk space, some attic space to walk in and store things. Because here in America, we all have too much, too much junk. There's a bonus room. One of the things on the bonus room, I changed this, it had a little doghouse dormer on it. But I think these big dormers change the room so you don't have that bowling alley look or that finished sheetrock attic look. It really opens up the room, adds a lot of natural light, and you can also look out and see what your neighbors are doing. It's just the additional bedroom. We have some more nice, nice large storage space uh, over there. They both have walk-in closets. And let's move on to the master suite. It has a nice large master bedroom. One head with a tray ceiling, but once again, we didn't go too crazy with it because it's kind of the theme of this house is the clean lines. You've got a sitting area over there out front. His and hers closets. There's a master bath. His and hers sinks. Uh, this we went with the oval sinks. So we've gone with square sinks. They seem to be, be trendy as well. Uh, the, the shower, we like niches. Uh, the, the shower glass is on back order. That is coming later today. Master tub. 
And... Last but not least, our laundry room. Laundry room. It's a feature that we're really fond of is having the, uh, the utility sink for obvious reasons. There's your hall bath. One of the features we added was this transom light above the tub, um, this transom window. It just adds some, some more natural light into, into, into a dark space. And this is the fourth bedroom slash guest room slash office. Extra room downstairs. Uh, this seems to be really popular in case you have an elderly parent that doesn't want to climb stairs or you want to have an office, etc. And it's right next to the bathroom. And with this house, we went with the oval shaped knobs. We like those because they're not like the levers that get caught on your, pan your pants pockets. They also give you, give you some leverage and they look a little more stylish than your typical knobs. The theme of the door, we went with a classic Roman arch, which is, which is very typical with uh, or rub bronze hinges. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Of course, we got some space under the stairs. Closet, we just hate, hate to waste space. Well, we don't have to. Anyway, that concludes the tour of the house. Home buyers should be here soon. Uh, if you have any questions or would like, uh, like to make an inquiry, please call us at the number below. Thanks. Bye. comes off these things? Yeah. Okay, hold on. You don't have to step out of your car, do you? No, it's a self-left one. 